Time for flashback. <laughs> Tracks from the past. With your host, DJ Damon. Let's talk Impulse Tracker. This station features over 300 songs in this advanced tracker format. Welcome to an hour with 100% Impulse Tracker songs and a report from our correspondent, someone named Nate. Slide. The year was 1995 and Jeffrey Lim released a brand new tracker. It was called Impulse Tracker. It was for PC DOS. It was free with the option to buy extensions. But pirates struck, impacting his revenue, and that's why he stopped developing it. The latest version, 2.14, was released in 99. 2014, it was released as open source. Your Amiga had four channels, although you could track with eight. Impulse Tracker then. Try 64 channels. This is often why it sounds like an orchestral symphony compared to other tracked formats.
Moby and Rainy Night. There are many things that set Impulse Tracker apart from other trackers. Our correspondent, someone named Nate, has the story. Included with Impulse Tracker version 2.14 are two example modules. One module, titled Blue Flame by Chris Jarvis, demonstrates the principal capabilities of IT. Another module, titled Drifting Onwards by Jeffrey Lim, the creator of Impulse Tracker, demonstrates a unique feature of the software distinguishable from other leading trackers of the time. See if you can guess what it is just by listening. If you guessed Resonant Filters, you are correct. This feature was introduced in the third patch of Impulse Tracker 2.14. However, achieving this feature would require an Intel Pentium CPU with the MMX instruction set and a compatible sound card. The latter example module caught the attention of Skaven, who after having listened to it, thought, that's cool, but I can do better. And he did just that. One year later, in 1998, he concocted a better sounding demonstration of Impulse Tracker's resonant filter feature, and what you are about to hear is exactly that. Back to DJ Damon in the studio. Thank you very much. We're going on with the music. Skaven, take it away. Yeah. 
Skaven and Fourth Symmetriad. Quite a story, wasn't it? Yeah. I can tell you something. If you use XMP or XM Player for Ubuntu, it's way too old and will not play Impulse Trucker well. I'm sorry, that's just how it is. And VLC don't even dare. <laughs> I'm just kidding, but keep, be careful there. What you should use if you have a PC is, if you ask me, Open MPT. That's where it's at. Fear of Dark and Extra Solar. As you probably know, Amiga cannot play Impulse Tracker. But you know what can? Atari. Yeah, that's true. The Atari Falcon has a 16-bit audio card. And actually, Impulse Tracker can work from it. I did not know that, but it's true. Oh, 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 oh,
There seems to be some confusion when it comes to the versions of Impulse Tracker. As I said, the latest version is 2.14, but there seems to have been different releases of it, and there's some rumors about a 2.15 being released to some people. I haven't really made heads or tails out of this one, but uh, you could probably go to a mod archive and look at their forum for more information. <laughs> T, Majan Paradise and the Dim System. Right, I had a little bit of a confusion when I actually learned that my old converted uh, Impulse Tracker tunes didn't work on the station. I was told this and I tried the new versions that I ran through OpenMPT, which renders the songs correctly. And it was like night and day. I heard dimensions to some of the IT files that I had never heard before. And I'm sorry <laughs> that you had to go through that, but it sounds better now. They're all uh, replaced with open MPT files.
Fear of Dark with a Dank Drops. The web page is getting better and better and better. We have converted it to a new, better design and easier for me to kind of update and stuff. Go there and you can see all the songs. You can search for them, you can request them, and you can put stars on it. Great, right? Let's go on with some more music. Impulse Tracker, of course.
For show and the void. Let's go on with a medley. Yeah, three songs in a row. It's Starry and Ed's World intro template. It's Fear of Dark with the Death City 3000. And Fear of Dark again with There is Nothing to Lose Anymore. This is Flashback, Tracks from the Past, and I'm DJ Demon. If you have a story to tell, send an email to radio at ericade.net. <laughs> 
Someone named Nate sent a correspondence to me and we put it on. So if you have something to tell me about retro PCs, Amigas, Ataris and stuff, and also remember I can't pay you anything for it, please drop me an email, as I said. versus Saga Music, Outline Bees, and leading you into that great night, or that good night, or what do you want to call it, is Cleader with Secret Glade, Fear of Dark, Splice Slice, and finally Echid with The Small Hit. Go to ericade.radio to find newest episodes.
it time for something demoscene? Yes, yes it is, but not this Saturday. You will have it in a week or two. We will try to see what has been going on during October and November. So stay tuned to Flashback Tracks from the Past. Celebrating over 30 years of tracked music. 